Hey guys, Tonic here. Today I want to show off a quick and easy method on how to farm a lot of nuked flora very quickly and very efficiently. Now this method is not very talked about and just not really known in general. It was actually shown to me by my good friend Dan Moose, so huge shout out to him, he's a 200 IQ guy. This is an awesome trick and I can't wait to show you. Let's get right into it. So first things first, you're going to need a syringer, and not just any syringer, you're actually going to need the mod called the Bloatfly Larva Syringe Barrel. Now this is actually only obtainable according to the wiki from scrapping the weapon, however if someone does know the plan they can craft you one. The important thing about this syringer is that when you shoot an enemy with it, and then you kill that enemy, it will spawn a bloatfly. So then, you're going to want to reload it, and then shoot the bloatfly with it, and kill the bloatfly. And then that will spawn a bolt fly, and you can just keep continuing doing that. Now the reason why that is super important for farming flux is that not only do you need the actual plant, you will also need high radiation fluids, heart of mass, and a glowing mass. And the top three right here, they actually only have chances of spawning on dead enemies. So that's the only way that you can get high radiation, heart of mass, and glowing mass. And now that you guys are in a nuke zone, let's go around and pick all of the nuke floor that is possible. I'll put up a really good nuke map right here, and you can follow this, I'll put it in the description as well. It's just a map that carries all the different areas for getting a ton of certain types of fluxes. And then right here, now that you found an enemy, get your syringe out, hit the enemy with it, and then there should be a slight pause to pull up the other gun, and kill him. And then he will spawn a bloatfly. And same as before when I showed you, just take out the bloatfly with it. And that will spawn another one. And right there, that is three bodies to loot, which is a lot already. If I can hit this one. Just kill it. And it'll spawn another one. And as you can see, that is going to be some high radiation fluids. Let's see what this guy had. High radiation fluids. Heart of Mass, and you can just continue doing it. I'll end it right there, but I'll just have to find another enemy to start it up again. And you can actually just farm for however long a nuke lasts, which I believe is two hours. So that's a ridiculous amount. You can just do that and probably get over 100 blowfly spawns out of one enemy. And that is absolutely ridiculous. You can just do it for the entire time and craft as much flux as inside the nuke zone. So just from doing this from the past two days, and I really didn't even do it too heavy, I only did it for about 20 minutes and then maybe 30 minutes before this video, I ended up getting 8 Cobalt Flux, 37 Crimson, 37 Fluorescent, 10 Violet, and 28 Yellow Cake. And that is super, super solid off of just two days, and not even a whole lot of time. If I were to spend an entire hour in each zone, I could be pushing maybe 50s to 70s, and if you do this for like a week, you could be pushing hundreds of flux. And so another really cool thing about this syringer is that when you do hit an enemy, it has a chance of spawning as a legendary bloatfly. So super useful for if you're trying to farm some legendaries as well. Now I didn't want to drag this video out too long because there's really not too much to it. Just get the syringer, get a nuke zone, and you get farming right away. I do want to give a huge thank you though to Dan Moose again because you are the man for showing me this method. It's helping me a ton, and I'm sure it'll help a lot of other people. And again, I want to give a huge thank you to all the people checking out the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support I've been getting lately. It means the world to me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great week, everybody.